What up guys? It's Survivor and Survivor Cartel, we're back! Okay, we're on, we were on Earth and now we teleported to Mercury, that's cool. But anyways guys, in this uh, weapon showcase, we're gonna be taking a look at the Fever and Remedy hand cannon, of course. This is the Raid hand cannon, we got quick reaction, uh, you know, get increased agility when reactive reload is activated. And we activate reactive reload by reloading this weapon uh, after a kill, right? I believe that's how it is. Reloading this weapon after a kill grants damage bonus for a short time. We got speed reload as well as the hand cannon because I don't like hand cannons that reload super super slow. And of course we got the trespasser though. And we got bone crusher. Uh, with that said, let's get right into it. I believe today on Wednesday, I don't know, maybe I'm going to post this on Wednesday, but the Festival of the Lost is out today. Which of course that means I'll be making a video on it. But anyways, this is your first time tuning in. Remember, I'm not a PvP elitist. I am actually not that great at PvP. Okay, this hand cannon. I've only heard bad things about this hand cannon, honestly. Uh, which is why I tend to stay away from, uh, you know, from weapon showcases and all of that stuff. This weapon sounds very, uh, very plastic-like. Like it shoots plastic bullets. Uh, okay, well, I'm not really surprised that I get killed by a shotgun because that's what the Crucible is 24-7. So let's not even acknowledge the fact that I just got destroyed by a shotgunner. Okay, everybody. Yeah, this weapon sounds like I'm shooting plastic bullets. <laughs> okay, uh, it doesn't matter though. It doesn't really matter how the weapon sounds. It just matters how the weapon performs. I don't know about you guys, but I think I killed that guy at the beginning very, very quickly. Um, let me just back away because I don't want... To... Yep, I knew it. He has a shotgun. Thank... Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, okay, all right, that was clutch, Strasspasser. I bet he has... All right, let me go invisible. He'll, he'll probably come over here. Oh, no, he thought that I left. Of course, missing my shots, because that's what I do, I miss shots. Uh, let's just hit you with a knife. And let me get the fuck out of here. I am using the Shade Step helmets. As well as the uh, marked ability that marks people for you and stuff. So, okay, I, let me just tell you guys what I think about this hand cannon so far. If you're one of those people in the Crucible that have really good aim with hand cannons, you're going to be doing pretty okay with this hand cannon. It's not that bad. I thought this thing was going to be garbage. I mean, like I said, I've only heard bad things about this hand cannon, you know, from people that I uh, raid with and stuff. I guess, I mean, I don't know about PvE, but for PvP, I, don't, I, I think it's pretty alright. And I bet this is going to be a shotgun guy. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, I'm invisible. Alright, I'm just going to wait for this guy to come over here. Never mind, I'm not going to wait for him. I'm actually going to super. Okay, thank God he didn't shotgun me, because I'm pretty sure that was the guy with the shotgun. We're going to get you. No, we're not going to get you. Okay. Let's jump over here, shoot more plastic bullets, and die by this bitch ass. All right. I'm not doing too bad, honestly. I thought I was going to be doing, you know, pretty, uh, pretty shitty, uh, specifically since I'm not a hand cannon guy. But yeah, like I said, uh, this hand cannon, if you can aim it, uh, and if you can, you know, pace your shots, unlike me, I'm pretty sure you're going to be doing pretty okay. So... Yeah, final thoughts on this. Uh, I like this hand cannon. You know, I would use this hand cannon in the Crucible if I were a hand cannon guy, of course. I mean, I have a Clever Dragon. Why would I use anything but the Clever Dragon in the Crucible? <laughs> I really need to stop showing off about my Clever Dragon. And of course, if you guys want my review on the Clever Dragon, I also uploaded that already. So yeah, you guys can check that out if you guys want. And uh, apparently, I'm not going to survive this encounter. Never mind, I did survive the encounter because I'm a badass. And now I'm going to own this guy with the Trespasser. I'm sorry that I'm using the Trespasser and not using the Hand Cannon that much. I do want to uh, at least try to get a victory for you guys. I mean, you guys have seen a pretty decent amount of gameplay so far when it comes down to the Fever and Remedy. Okay, I did not take into consideration that I was running out of bullets. So that was a really newbie of me. Okay, the guy has dropped down. I really like this marking perk because, yeah, it tells you where the dudes are at. Uh, oh, okay. Was not expecting that. 
Yo, that was a clusterfuck right there. Did you guys see how many enemies were there? Holy shit. Uh, I, oh, by the way, I forgot to say uh, the secret ability of this perk. So if you have, um, if you have fever, all right, uh, this hand cannon will cure it. That's why it's called fever and remedy. You have fever, and then all of a sudden, bam, you know, the, fe the fever is cured. So that's the hidden ability that Bungie didn't tell us about that this hand cannon had, which, you know, it, it, honestly, it's pretty awesome of them. I mean, we got the Bungie Foundation, you know, Bungie people supporting uh, whatever it is that they support through the Bungie Foundation that I don't know anything about. Uh, and then, of course, we got uh, the Bungie employees also healing fever. Hello? Like, wow, these developers are really stepping up. Another reason why Bungie is one of my favorite developers. Actually, I'm not going to lie. Bungie is my favorite developer, mainly because they're always, you know, they seem to care about the game. Uh, you know, they're not like these other developers that, you know, they don't uh, really communicate with the community that much. All of that good stuff. Okay, it doesn't matter that I didn't get heavy ammo. Um, but I will, let me see, let me make an attempt to get this one here. I did not mean to do that. Look at this guy with the shotgun, man. Oh my god, this is what the Crucible has come to. Another reason, again, like I said in my previous video, why I'm just loving Battlefield 1. Because you're not going to see this type of bullshit in Battlefield 1. People just running around with a fucking secondary... Just constantly melting you. Even though shotguns are primaries in Battlefield 1 as well. But anyways, let's talk. Let's stop talking about Battlefield 1. You guys can see my Battlefield 1 videos if you guys want me to, um, you know, if you guys want to hear that type of stuff. Uh, oh, by the way, just in case you guys have noticed, I am running, yes, the Flight of Shadows and the uh, Jackalites. Because, like I said, this video might go up when the Festival of the Lost goes live. And, of course, you know, let's, let's make the video a little spooky. Y'all know what I mean? Alright, this guy has the last word. And I'm going to die. Yep. So should have seen that coming. Uh, I think the guy I killed also had the last word. Alright, I have my super. Should be able to do pretty well. Honestly, I'm not really doing that bad. I am dying a lot. I'm not going on any kill streaks, but it, this is pretty alright for me. As long as I finish on the top three, that means I'm posting this to YouTube. Okay, alright. I can just completely miss that shit. Yo, where are you going? I need my rent money. I'm fucking dead. Let me just get the fuck out of here. Oh. 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 No! My trusty trespasser has failed me. Well, I didn't. It, the trespasser didn't fail me. That was just my bad aim. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like I said, my aim is not super godlike, guys. Um, but anyways... Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, Weapon Showcases videos. I have seen that they've been doing pretty well, you know. I mean, they don't get 20,000 fucking views or anything, but, you know, they do get a really decent amount of views, mainly when it comes down um, to the channel. Uh, I'm not complaining that Laidback is destroying me with uh, that Matador and that he's, uh, you know, using the Matador as a primary, because yesterday I took a shit and I put it in his bitch's mouth. So, you know... I think I've already ruined his life uh, plenty of times. So, you know, I don't want to talk shit and make his life even worse. You guys know what I mean? All right, let me uh, just... Ooh, ooh, actually, you know what? Let me uh, let that guy take care of that bitch. There we go. Thank you very much for destroying that cancer. Let me take out the trespasser, the trusty trespasser. And I don't see anybody here except a guy with a shotgun camping in a corner. Again, it's all right. That's what the crucible is. I'm already used to it. All right, let's take out the uh, let's take out the fever and remedy. Uh, oh, by the way, I should I should also talk about this. Uh, if you guys don't know how to get this, of course you get it from the heroic raid, uh, wrath of the machine. Uh, you get it from the axis encounter. And by the way, I should have an axis video pretty soon on the channel. Um, so, you know, be on the lookout for that. It's mainly going to be talking about, you know, when you should leave teams, if you're fighting Axis, all of that good stuff. Because I'm pretty sure that's something that a lot of you guys uh, struggle with. Uh, you know, bad teams. I mean, at least I always play on LFG with LFG teams. So, you know, most of the time I do, you know, end up with some bad teams. And I do have to make the decision of staying or just leaving and it seems that I might be able to actually get this match and uh, actually win it I need one more kill let's see if I can actually win the match instead of letting that shotgun noob win I, I should let him win the match because I did put shit inside his bitch's mouth 
last night for being a bad girl and you know letting her her, her a boyfriend uh use the shotgun on crucible but okay i guess i guess uh i won the match i hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys already know what to do make sure to drop it a like make sure to subscribe to join the Sabahai Cartel. So pretty all right match with the Fever and Remedy. Uh, I, I'm i actually pretty shocked that I won the match because I'm not good at Crucible. I don't know what's been going on with me lately. I'm beasting at Rumble. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. You guys already know what to do, and I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. Peace out.